the umbrellas for the first time in a while. Yeah, no, yeah, keep those handy tomorrow morning especially, and I think that every, everybody that's going out for maybe a turkey trot, maybe keep that raincoat and an extra pair of socks ready just in case you have to deal with that rain. Right now it's dry and it's fairly chilly, 38 degrees right now in Ramona, 34 just above freezing in Warner Springs, 47 in El Cajon, and Oceanside, a mere 41 this morning. So we are tracking rain that is uh, starting to creep into Northern California, becoming a lot more widespread as we head through the day. And as we've been mentioning, that is good news for the firefight and clearing out the smoke, but mudslides a major concern there. For us, we're going to be on the tail end of this system, and the best chance for showers will be after midnight tonight with peak activity through about maybe 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, most of it in the early, early morning hours. But the biggest impact, I think, for a lot of people is going to be that the roads are going to be wet as you're heading out to wherever you're going in the morning. Peak shower activity, most of it coming through in the overnight hours. So as far as the rain falling as you're driving, a lot of people aren't going to be impacted. 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. is what I'm forecasting isolated scattered, isolated scattered shower activity and then isolated shower activity Friday night into Saturday morning. So I'm going to zoom out and show you a big picture. This is what you can expect for our Thanksgiving across the entire country. If you are planning to travel, we are going to see some snowstorms move into the Rockies and look at all of that rain in uh, the Pacific Northwest, Northern California into Friday. And then that next system, we're going to be seeing that tail end of it coming through into Saturday morning, but most things and then just a few isolated showers. Not expecting much, much accumulation with that one. Mid to upper 60s through Saturday along our coast. 70s by Sunday as offshore winds return. So it's going to get warmer, sunny, and dry pretty quickly. Inland neighborhoods, our Thanksgiving is going to be a cool one. About 5 to 10 degrees cooler than normal. 65 degrees for our high. And then we'll see temperatures return to the 70s by Sunday. Our mountains will be in the mere 40s tomorrow. So a really chilly Thanksgiving in our mountains. It's also going to be pretty gusty in our mountain and desert areas. Gusts could reach up to about 40 miles per hour or so.